this math in your head. You've invested that money. That's, that money is yours. You built that oil rig. You gonna let it sit there? You gonna make the payment on that oil rig when somebody else somewhere else in the world will pay you now? It costs $10 million to move each rig. It's a little unlikely that they're going to find their way back if they're leased because they don't just go for a couple of weeks. They're there, and then they're going to pump all the oil out. The jobs will never come back. I guess the president gets us to stop drilling everywhere in America without actually passing that law. Don't you see what they're doing? The same company that the administration was willing to loan two billion dollars to, we have promised them two billion dollars, is a oil company with vast resources, 15 billion dollars a year in profit. They're going to make off with our rigs now too. And they're planning to invest 95% of that 224 billion dollars. They plan to spend that on exploration and that money's all going to Brazil. So what's in it for us, Mr. President? Nothing. Nothing is in it for us. But there is something in it for the players of Crime, Inc. At one time, George Soros had $900 million invested in this company. Now, before you dismiss the connection, look how much influence the Soros Center for American Progress has on this administration. Soros, he wanted uh, to, win, uh, to use wind and solar. Obama says, you got it. He uses uh, Center for American Progress to spin against the damaging facts coming out of Spain. Soros says, smart grid. I'm a spooky old man. Give me a smart grid. Obama, through GE, says, you got it. And California passes a bill that requires the Public Utilities Commission to develop the plan for the smart grid use. Soros suggests that the president should have nationalized the banks. Well, guess what? In the House bill, regulators would have the power to stop banks on a case-by-case -case basis from risky activities. What are those risky activities? Anybody want to define them? They want to ban corporate influence on campaign commercials? Are you kidding me? What about banning this guy's influence? The influence that Soros is having through media matters, which I got to tell you, media matters, you're really pretty much a joke. But their smear campaigns, how many, how many stories were released on me last night after this story? I think Media Matters maybe did eight, nine, ten, I lost count, how many? How are you guys doing? How about the Center for American Progress, the influence of this man on this man with your money through the Center for American Progress? How about tides? How about indoctrination? Forget God, it's in George Soros we trust. Oh, he's going to get his. He is going to get his. I mean, I don't mean, I don't mean he's going to get his like, you know, he may be getting his from God, but he's going to get his money. He's invested in this president. He signed all this up. This isn't about saving the planet. They tell us global warming now is a moral issue. Nancy Pelosi, don't make me puke. How can you justify drilling in Brazil? The same people who claim to be the Earth's saviors are raping the Earth. Show me Nancy Pelosi again, please. I believe as I do that it is uh, also that this is God's beautiful creation. We have a moral responsibility to preserve it. Right. Spare me the lecture on my SUV and filling up the tires, you know, my air, uh, the tires uh, and putting air in my tires. I'm sick of the Al Gores of the world telling me to drive a, a crappy smart car, which doesn't look all that smart or safe to drive. I'm sick of them telling me to inflate my tires before every time I drive. Who's going to do that? And all the while, they've got multiple mansions and fleets of SUVs. Stop telling me what to do and who to be like. Hillary Clinton just said recently we need to be like Brazil. That's the highest taxed GDP rate in the Western Hemisphere. And guess what?